Hi beauties, happy Valentine's Day. Well, happy early Valentine's Day. Today I have um, this beautiful eye for you guys. Um, I did this eye inspired by, or this look, um, inspired by Valentine's Day. Um, I did it based around this color. It's called Firecracker. It is a limited edition eyeshadow by MAC. It came out a while ago, a very long while ago. And yeah, if you all would like to see how I did this look, um, then please stay tuned. And I'll see you in a second. So to start off with, um, I did prime my eyes with uh, Benefit Stray Don'ts. So to start off with, I did uh, prime my eyes with Benefit Stay Don't Stray. It's become one of my favorites, one of my favorite primers. And um, for my brows, I don't show that, but for my brows, I did use Tarte's Brow Mousse in Rich Brown. Since I did um, darken my hair color, um, this is what I've been using, and I really like how it leaves my brows, how it shapes and defines them, the color. I really, I really, really like this product. So yeah, let's get started. So to start off with, I'm going to take my um, large shader E60 brush from Sigma and I'm going to take Firecracker um, and place that all over my lid. I like to take some more on my brush and then I like to flip my brush upside down and just pack that in my lash line so that everything is really nice and concentrated. The color looks evenly throughout my eyelid. And yeah. Next, I'm going to go in with the color um, blank type. I'm going to go ahead and do my highlight because um, sometimes when I don't do my highlight first, I like to go a little bit crazy and I take my transition color all the way up and I don't really like how that looks but sometimes that's the way it turns out because I skip this step first. So I'm going to be taking Blank Type from MAC as my highlight color and I'm going to be using this MAC 235 Duo Fiber Brush, well Split Fiber Brush. It's synthetic on one side and natural hair on the other. Next, I'm going to take Soft Brown as my transition color. Looks like this. And I'm going to be taking that on um, my MAC 236 brush. So yeah, we're going to apply Soft Brown to our crease just to diffuse the line that was created with our lid color. So next, I'm going to go with the color Handwritten. I keep sticking my fingernails in the shadows when I'm trying to take them out. Okay, so I'm going to use Handwritten. It's a really warm, um, chocolatey brown color. It's really similar to Embark, but I find that this one applies better than Embark, at least for me. So yeah, this is what we'll be using. And I'm going to be using my Sigma E25 blending brush. Looks like this. And I'm going to be using um, just a little cardboard like this so that I can get a sharp edge on my eye. Yeah, and you do get a really harsh line, but we can diffuse that um, in a little bit with a brush. But yeah. So, yeah, just blend out. any harsh line that might have been created. Next, I'm going to be taking the color Beauty Marked. Looks like this. I'm going to take that with a Sedona Lace EB15 brush. It's a small tapered blending brush. 
looks like this and really tap out any excess color because this will just fall right on your eyes and if you're like me that likes to do their um, foundation first you'll be really ticked off when it's all on your face and you have to redo your makeup and don't worry about it coming too far into your lid color because we can just go ahead and reapply our lid color it's no problem um, yeah and if you see that one eye comes out darker than the other just go ahead and reapply it on the other eye now let's pick up our blending brush and just blend out um, any harsh line what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day more than likely I'm gonna be spending it with my boys and my little girl um, because my husband will probably be working which bites because I really love Valentine's Day. It's the one holiday besides Christmas that I really, really love. And, um, but yeah, no big deal. We'll probably go see my, my in-laws or my parents and celebrate it with them. But yeah, so that's it for MAC um, shadows. Next, I'm going to go in with um, this eyeshadow by Urban Decay. It's called Polyester Bright. And I'm going to apply that in my inner corner. And it looks like this. And I'm going to take that with my Urban Decay um, shader brush. It came in one of the Naked palettes. Next, I'm going to take this MAC um, pressed pigment. And it looks like this. In the color Enlight Enlightening. And I'm going to take that with my uh, ring finger. And I'm going to dab that lightly. I'm not a big fan of um, glitter, um, which is why I chose this. Um, and I'm going to dab that on my lid for a little subtle shimmer. If you're like me and you don't like glitter, I think this is the perfect product because if you're really looking for a metallic shimmery look you can apply it wet but if you want something subtle like I do um, you can go ahead and apply it light lightly with um, a dry finger and it'll look really nice so now let's work on our under eye and we're just about done so for my under eye I'm gonna go in with beauty mark marked again and I'm just gonna apply that to my lower under eye using my EB15 brush So I'm going to take Bordello right now from Urban Decay. It's a really pretty, pretty, pretty soft. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like a pink. It looks like a light purple. Um, it's really pretty. And I'm going to take that on, a, on the E25 brush I was using for my crease color. And I'm just going to blend out the beauty marked on my lower lash line. I'm taking a pencil brush from Sedona Lace. I'm going to reapply this color, but just to this little gap I have right here between the um, Black Cherry and the Polyester Bride on my inner corner. Um, just for a little something something. So yeah, and our eyeshadow is done. We just need to apply our eyeliner, false lashes, mascara and our look is complete so yeah so I'm gonna let my lash dry a little bit while I just um, tell you what I did on my lips so on my lips I did use a Revlon um, liquid lipstick I, I'm not sure what it's called um, it's it looks like a lip gloss but it's not it's a lipstick a long pouring lipstick and I can't find the tube um, um, but over it I'm gonna apply just a tiny tiny little bit of this lip tar in the color Queen and I'm just taking what, what's outside of the spout. Just apply that to the center and spread it out. Um, 
So yeah, and it gives me a little really subtle, subtle, subtle ombre look. And over that, I'm going to apply the Lip Tar in Clear just to give it a tiny little bit of gloss. And again, I'm just taking what's outside of the spout because I don't want too much. I like this Lip Tar in Clear because I'm not a big fan of lip Sorry, my camera cut off, but this is the final look. I just applied my lashes, a little bit more of mascara, and yeah, please don't forget to um, like my video. Please um, subscribe if you haven't, and comment on what you would like to see next. So I really hope you all enjoyed this look. I hope you have a fabulous Valentine's Day, and there will be more Valentine's Day looks coming your way and yeah please subscribe and I love you guys I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye Mwah.